Hey, I'm Friedrich, and today we're going to learn how to build a PHP framework. So, welcome to episode zero of this series. Uh, in this series, we're going to build, as I said before, a small PHP framework. Uh, this first episode is a bit more uh, to get our feet wet, to learn some, some basics about how we're going to uh, work on the framework, what we're going to need, what we're going to use and all those things. So, uh, first of all, I'm going to assume you have PHP installed. Uh, PHP 7.1 would be ideal. This is what I'm going to use, so I recommend you use the same one. And uh, an installation of Composer. If you have neither of those things installed, you can check out uh, Homebrew, where you can install it very easily. Or if you're on uh, Windows, you can check out things like uh, Chocolate. And if you're on, on Linux, well, I assume you know how to install some stuff by now. So about the framework. As I said before, uh, this is not a production-ready framework. It could probably hold, it o hold its own, but uh, I wouldn't recommend it. It's not tested for that. It's more of a learning thing. So we're going to learn how to glue some packages together and how the architecture works and, and how they all interweave in, into each other. Um, and the framework will also be a bit uh, open so you can uh, plug in different parts in and out uh, according to how you are growing in the project yourself. So for example, we're going to uh, start with a small implementation of a database later on in the series. Uh, once you grow, uh, grow up beyond those reaches of those uh, limitations, then we're going to swap it out and maybe add some a bigger uh, ORM into it, like, like Doctrine, for example. But that's not on the schedule for now. So a, a big part of this framework will also be focused on PSR. If you don't know what PSR is, uh, PSR is a PHP standards recommendation. Uh, it's, a, it's an entity that gives, as the name suggests, recommendations on how to build certain pieces of software. Uh, the first things we're going to focus on is 1, 2 and 12, which is the code styles. Uh, code styling makes a lot of sense in your projects, so you want to have some uniform level of, of code between you and your colleagues or even your open source co-maintainers. So your code base looks the same wherever you're, you're going in the project. It uh, really speeds up development, so you don't lose a lot of time. Another one we're going to focus on is uh, PSR4, which is the autoloading uh, PSR. It's actually all about uh, what a modern PHP application should be and can be. PSR7 is the HTTP message interface. Uh, as you might know, probably should know, uh, PHP is a request and response kind of system. So the application runs on every request and stops after every response. That PSR, PSR7, focuses on that uh, workflow and tries to uh, maintain a uniform interface to uh, work with that. So that's obviously very important as it is like the core of your application, your, your inner workings. PSR11 is a container interface. The container is uh, the heart of your application where everything wires through. Um, if you're not really familiar how that works and dependency injection and all those things, we're going to have a full episode about that, how to implement it and how to maintain it, and it's, it's gonna be really great. It's a real eye-opener if you never worked with that kind of things before. So uh, enough talk, I think. So let's start and dive into some code. Okay, welcome to the terminal. As you can see, we're currently at the code NFP folder. Uh, the code folder is just a folder where I store all of my projects in. And the NFP folder is the name of our project. Uh, NFP stands for not for production. Another nice reminder, not to use it for production. Or a learning tool, as I mentioned before. So uh, here we have an empty folder, as you can see. The only thing in there is a, is a dot file, an ID uh, dot file. Uh, don't really bother with that one. It's just uh, a small uh, information file for our uh, editor. So first things first, what we want to do with uh, in our project. We want to make uh, a public folder. The public folder, as you can see here, is uh, the point of entry for our framework. This is the only one exposed to the, to the internet itself. Uh, 
everything else will be on a, a level above that one. Why do we do that? It's more of a security thing. So uh, if, for example, we uh, kind of mess up with our settings and people would have full access to that folder, they still don't have access to the actual code base, only the small files inside of that public folder, which should be relatively harmless. So, okay, we create that public folder. Next stop is we want to uh, make a composer file. Uh, as we said before, uh, autoloading, PSR4, if you remember, uh, is all about autoloading and stuff. And autoloading in, in the PHP world is all uh, related to composer. So, uh, Composer, we're just going to create a new Composer uh, file, uh, project, and you do it like this. So, Composer init, and here we get some, um, some questions asked to us, how we want to name our, and set up uh, the project. So, if I can spell my name right. This is uh, the package name itself. So the first is the vendor name, and then after is the package name. Uh, the vendor name, I'm just going to add my, my GitHub profile na name there. So, uh, okay. Description, it's just a small learning framework uh, for a YouTube session. How about that? Uh, yeah, that's me. Uh, please don't mail me. <laughs> or mail me, I don't care. Uh, minimum stability, we're going to skip that one because again, it's not for production and we're not actually going to submit it to packages. So uh, the package type is a framework license. We don't really care, but we're going to add MIT license. Uh, dependencies, no, not for now. Uh, dev dependency, also not for now. We're going to do it manually. Uh, and here we get an overview of uh, the file we're going to generate here. So, uh, want to confirm it? Yes, it's all good. And now, if we can take a look, we'll see two different new things. First of all, we have a composer.json file. It's, if you can see, it's the same as uh, above, so composer.json. It's just the same uh, JSON file as, as displayed above, which is just about the information there. And we also um, now we can uh, Composer install it, which will uh, create that Composer, uh, use that Composer file and uh, install its, its files and create the auto generating generation files. So if we take a look again, we have a new folder now. This is the vendor folder. Uh, the vendor folder, as you can see now, um, it also, it now has a Composer itself in there and an autoload file. That autoload file will create uh, the loading between uh, the sessions and, and the files itself. Uh, so yeah, that's also all the other libraries will live in this folder. It all happens automatically, so don't bother about it. So I'm going to go a bit faster now because uh, I'm kind of running out of time, I think. So. Uh, the only thing left, left now is just to set up a small server and see if everything works. So we're going to go to that public folder here. Um, as you can see, we're now in the public folder, nothing in there. So I also set up the, uh, my PHP Storm uh, editor. I'm just going to go into presentation mode. So everything is very big and obvious. Okay, so here's that public folder. I'm going to create a new PHP file. Call it index. Here we have the index. We're just going to uh, echo something out. Hello. Okay. We now have that uh, file here. Again, here is that file. And now we just go on to run uh, a small PHP server, built-in server, so we don't have to muck around with Docker or, or uh, Vagrant or anything like that. So we just do it like this. So PHP, we just run PHP, uh, capital S, capital S is the server itself. We're going to run it on localhost, and we're just going to uh, pick a port that's open. Uh, in my case, I think this one is probably open. So yeah, that server is running now. As you can see here, it's running. I can click on it, 
and it takes, uh, takes us right there. And as you can see here, hello, this is the one we had. If you go back and you say, hello, sunshine, we go back, hello, sunshine. Okay, great. Uh, this is the first part of this episode. Uh, it's probably a bit longer than I intended. I always want to make them about 10 minutes. I probably failed horribly into the, in that. So I'll keep that in mind for the next episodes. Um, hope you had something out of this one. Let me know if you want something else covered. And uh, yeah, we're going to build up from here. So um, I don't really have an ending to these things. So just do what other YouTubers tell you to do and I guess we'll, we'll be fine. See you next time.